Yes. Yes. The legend has returned, baby. Oh, yeah. He has returned to the movie Dojo. Joe Castro, actor, director. He's done it all. FX maestro. Welcome back to the show, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that very much. Uh, it's always an honor and a privilege to be here on the yeah. show. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Always yeah. appreciate you. It's an honor to have you here, man. And we, when me and Joe get together, we always have a blast uh, talking horror movies, fantasy, all that good stuff. We, is what we love. That's right. And, we, we absolutely uh, insist on having fun, right? Yes. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> yeah. what's the point, right? That's right. What's yeah, the absolutely. point? What's yep. the point? Uh, but yeah, it's great to have you back here, brother. Everybody watching, thank you guys for chiming in and hanging out with us live. We really appreciate that. Hanging out with your boy, Preston, Fat Samurai Guy, uh, with another podcast episode. And and again, uh, every time Joe is here, we have a blast talking horror, like I said a couple of seconds ago. But Joe, I I, I, I like Joe because Joe, like, he, he's got a, you know, he's got a, the Samurai Guy once in a while, I get on my case. You know, when I haven't seen a certain horror movie, <laughs> he'll let me have it. He'll let me have, well, it. Wait, wait, have the, it. The last time we were on, I was talking about Extro. Did you get a chance to watch Extro? I can't find a way to. I was going to hit you up. Uh, okay. I can't find a way to find to I'm, watch I'm, it. I'm, I'm, I'm literally going to send, send you. Okay. Send you a copy. I'm going to send you my my Blu-ray okay. for you to watch because yeah. you have to see it. It's just like yeah, yeah. I know it's all, it's all on the list, but uh, yeah, Joe Joe will hook me up. But yeah, Joe Joe uh, like freaked out the last time he was here. He's like, you haven't seen Extro. What's wrong with you? I'm like, God yeah. damn it. Yeah. I got to watch it at some point. Uh, but yeah, we always have fun here. Uh, it's what it's all about. And we're going to talk about some of this Legends projects here in a second. Here, I got to put the banner up. Boom. Letting everybody know. That's right. You can watch HP Lovecraft's The Old Ones, baby, on Amazon Prime right now. And Terra Tunes Quattro. They, oh, they, oh, look at me blow it up. Yeah. they. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love that. Love that shirt. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And you guys can watch Terror Tunes 4 uh, on Tubi right now. As That's well. right. And pe can other people buy that shirt? Is that shirt linked to uh, this, this, was, this, this, this was just for um, a private screening we had at AFM. I believe uh, the, the the cast and crew got, got a shirt. And it's super cozy, too. It's like one of my lucky. It's like, you know, you know how you, when you get those comfy, it fits well shirts it's not too tight uh, so, yeah. he's, he's rubbing it in he's rubbing it in because he knows he knows i want one you got the sexy sumo here saying that's a sick shirt <laughs> throwing you. it up yeah Thank yeah you. yeah we got people from the uk saying hello to hello me everyone hello 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 yep good to see john from uh the, one another amazing podcast john's interviews he's uh hanging out with us good to see you brother i had a blast being Hi, on john how you doing brother yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah john you gotta get joe on your show no yeah, I've, gotta... been, I've been on his show i've been oh I mean, you've been on his yeah, show, see, on I, show. Yeah. I knew super it super nice guy all it. of us nice guys we all hang out together <laughs> oh I, I but before we move on, i want to make i want to let everybody know that the uh one of the stars of the film of uh, the old ones actually designed and created this shirt the, the the guy who played who who played the one of the lead actors in the no way yeah he designed oh, cool. he designed the shirt so yeah that's yeah, awesome yeah yeah uh that is awesome yeah shout out to john john's had everybody on his show at this point <laughs> 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 but yeah good to see everybody watching right now and we're gonna get into it a little bit here and uh talk about the legend well how have you been my friend because it's been a while since you've been on the show i know you're <laughs> you're always crazy busy I am very uh, grateful and blessed to be crazy busy all the time. I am I am very busy right now. I'm working with uh, James Balsamo on his uh, masterpiece, Robot Dracula. And uh, I'm sold I have, with the title. I know oh, it's, it's just it's just the, <laughs> the title alone. It has you hooked, right? <laughs> if you like if you like cult movies and you like independent filmmaking it's just like robot dracula goes hand in hand you know and um we've been working on it now for for a few months and um we've really been heavy into filming it the past couple of weeks and uh uh you know it's, it's if you imdb it it's got a huge cast of people everybody's in it all all, all, all the names all the all the uh all, all, all the favorites are in it nice so you check it out yeah and i like i said i i actually get to play robot dracula in the movie <laughs> well now i'm super sold and, I'm and double sold now yeah and, and and james actually got uh got an actual suit of armor at one point and has she's like she's like you're gonna wear this put this on and, there oh. it is. <laughs> oh. and this is, that's an actual suit of armor that he 
pulled off. It's not a costume. That's like, I don't even know if it was meant to be like worn. <laughs> we pulled it off of this, this armature and I got into it and uh, there was no cod piece that fit me. So they had to put that mesh, this, this, this fabric there, but yeah, yeah I think it was heavy. I was, I'm, I'm loving the face expression. Yeah. <laughs> Are you feeling very regal, my yeah, friend? You're absolutely. A hundred percent. I feel like. <laughs> I feel completely indestructible in that outfit, you know. Let's go. It's Let's literally go. a suit of armor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. And this and, is also from uh, Robot Dracula. That's Dracula. right. That's Dave Bailey, uh, one of the vampires. Yeah, he plays a vampire. There's all these mutant vampires in the film. And there's, yeah. of course, Robot Dracula. Robot Dracula has a sidekick, which is played by Michael Ep uh, J. Epstein. And Sophia Cosciola uh, is our director of photography. And she's doing an amazing, amazing job. But just a huge cast of, of colorful characters. And uh, yeah. I think it's going to be one of James's best films ever. Nice. I'm super, super excited about it. Yeah, well, shout, out, shout out to James, baby. Yeah, yeah James. shout out to James. And we'll have to we'll have to discuss when that movie comes out. Have you back on the show for sure and, dis and discuss that. Already, chat's like robot, robot Dracula. Yeah. Take my money. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that there is at least, you know, one kill every minute in the film. You know, and <laughs> I, and I'm, I'm hoping I'm that, down with that. Yeah, yeah, at least one kill. There's yeah. a monster in almost every shot. You know, there's. It's just going to be everything we love. It's like a giant box of chocolates. You know, of every flavor, every every kind, every style it's yeah. just like it's like a giant mega box of chocolates yeah. oh my goodness you, yeah. never know what, you never know what you're gonna get you never know what you're gonna bite into <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah when one of my lines is prepare for the oh, what is it the the, the oh I forgot what it is. prepare for the for, for, prepare for the cybernetic slaughter of robot dracula Yes, yeah. let's yeah, go. For cybernetic cybernetic slaughter. slaughter of robots. Hey, Dracula. that might be the tagline or something. Oh. Put it in the on the tra you know on the, either in the trailer or on the the cover of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. Cybernetic slaughter. slaughter. Sla go, cybernetic slaughter of robots. What's going on, Nate? Yeah. Dogs. He's watching right now. Mm -hmm. Hey, <laughs> glad you can uh, hang out, man. It's always cool having you here, brother. Uh, but yeah, sold on the title. You playing the 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 main antagonist and the taglines. And I, and uh, you're I'm assuming you're also doing a lot of the gore and uh, I'm doing all of it. I'm just like it's it's kind of I'm actually an executive producer on the film. So, you know, when you bring me on a film to be an executive producer, and I'm contributing special effects, it's just like you, you can do anything. You, we we can do anything. It's like just yeah. say it, and I, I make it happen. You know, you want to blow up a building, okay? You want to rip someone's head off, okay? You want to, you know, shoot you know forty people in the head with a machine gun, okay? Let's go that's that's what we do i'm just make it happen you know and right. so uh, uh yeah yeah you know joe castro he makes it happen i make it happen that's what that's happens right. that's yeah. awesome man well yeah we're we're looking forward to that one for sure but uh let's take a look at some other photos here from your other uh projects back in the day and uh upcoming here and you can just because i like to show you off joe <laughs> thank you especially people that are new they're just chiming in right now i like to show off the man's work that's what made me a fan and uh and seek you out brother but uh, like what look that, at this thing though the, well that's from J one of james's original uh the, the first project i worked on with james yeah so it wants blood and that's a, a creature in the film uh and Looks that's amazing oh uh, thank you yeah that was one of the first pieces i made for james he has it in his office there yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so good so good you got another one here oh that's uh for uh um uh chad farron's new film uh uh unspeakable beyond the wall of sleep beyond the wall of sleep yes and it's amazing it's an amazing picture it's an amazing film in fact i sent you the trailer you said we can't show that on the okay you said I, okay. I, I really I just, want it, it's x-rated I, I get it it's yeah i i saw the trailer guys it's yeah. phenomenal so the movie i have a good feeling a great feeling it's going to be great i can't wait to watch it but i can't show it on youtube it, it's it's but, it's definitely yeah. like x-rated it's an x-rated film there's a right. lot of full frontal nudity both male yeah. and female and um blood yeah. gore creatures and uh everything we right. love you know Ch you know chad is a great filmmaker i mean chad farron is one of my favorite people in the world to work with and collaborate with he's super creative and he knows how to delegate authority and he knows what he wants and um somehow he'll take like the like the, the like the silliest idea and turn it into a dark 
sinister tale. You know, I right. love the, the love. I love that. I love that. Uh, I was watching this movie last night called um, Disturb. Oh, no. Absurd. Absurd. It's like this movie from like the late 70s, early 80s. I'd never yeah, seen yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, never seen it. And even though it was kooky, it was still very intense and serious that that's the thing about the seventies and eighties, man, you know, they could take like this cheesy idea and it would still be serious. You still wouldn't be silly. And I have, I, I, I find it very, um, uh, comforting and, uh, alluring when directors today can do that. You know, they'll take like a cheesy horror idea, but they can right. still make it serious. And Chad has the capability to do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like sure. that. Yeah. Shout out to Chad, baby. Yeah. Shout out to we, Chad. We appreciate um, Chad. But, uh, sexy says that was beautiful craftsmanship. On thank the, you. Uh, creature thank you just much. showed, and uh, <laughs> we love nudity. We there, love, we uh, <laughs> there we go. Don't, don't even get me started. <laughs> blood, blood, gore creatures, and a little bit of nudity. Once again, take my money. Yeah, yeah. Chad's yeah. loving the idea. Now, I, I, I know a certain someone. I will not say that certain someone's name, <laughs> but the certain someone recently just told me, "Why can't we?" If the certain someone loves horror movies. And a certain someone told me, why can't we have a really cool horror movie, <laughs> right? <laughs> with really awesome, satisfying gore kills, but with a little extra eye candy, a little something, you know? A little, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little, yeah. A little extra, like yeah. not, not, not the soft stuff, but, you know, the, the yeah. harder stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, now I get to tell that per certain someone <laughs> that, hey, you got a is. movie coming out really soon. You're going to be happy. Here it is. Yeah. Everyone's dying right now. Who am I talking about? I'm not, you, you will never know, but I can't wait to tell the person. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah. This person will be really happy when we're done with the stream here. So, uh, you know, um, so, uh, yeah, I'm working with Chad again on a no new film coming up called Ed Kemper about a serial killer. Uh, oh, nice. I don't know if you're familiar with Ed Kemper, but he killed a whole bunch of college girls. Uh, uh, yeah, that's Susan. Susan's one of our executive producers and one of the stars of the movie. She plays Ed's, uh, Ed's uh, mother in the film, and I'm getting ready to make a... I'm making a life cast of her. She's going to have a very, very graphic demise in this film. Nice, nice. I'm sure it's going to be also very, uh, how, do, how do I put this? NC-17 X-rated, you know. Oh, once, wow. once you give a director a little taste of that and they run with it, then they go all the, they just keep going. And, and uh, yeah. you know, and, and uh, you know, Chad does it very well. He does it. In fact, he does it in a way that, well, maybe I'm maybe I'm desensitized, but it seems like when he puts nudity in his films and he puts blood in his films, yeah. he does it in a very cinematic way where it's still it's still tasteful in a way that, you know, it art. Looks, yeah, it's art. Yeah, it's, it's, art. Art. it's art. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. Yeah. yeah and uh, for all you mutilator fans out there that are watching, don't forget to check out mutilator 2 yeah mutilator 2 is coming up uh yeah. I, I, i'm not sure when they're going to release it um and i know that they're they're doing some theatrical screenings of it now but i'm hoping that uh that um that it comes out uh soon and uh, i'm hoping that they do like a i don't know if i said this on the last time on the show but because they shot so much gore I hope that they do like an extra cut where they go back and they put in some more pieces and parts of that that were yes. yeah because yeah we we need we need like a full unrated cut of the film. I'm hoping they'll put some you know yeah yeah. Hey, yeah. if the fans ask for it, uh, you know they'll do double cuts for the Blu-ray or the DVD. I mean, it's not going to hurt, right? Maybe, maybe maybe that's exactly what what's going yeah. on there. Yeah. 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 Why not? Why yeah, because I did some of my best work ever in that film, and I'm I've made some beautiful re reproductions of people that we you know slaughtered and popped their heads off and stuff like that. So I'm hoping they'll really hang on some of those shots so we can really see the the oh, work. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Come on. Producers and yeah. studio, you got ton, hundreds of thousands of fans just like did, me. And did, Joe, did, 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 you, you want to see? We want to see the special effects. Do you, do you remember, like back in the like eighties and nineties, whenever like there would be like a like a fake head on on camera, like that's gonna get decapitated or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and and you know you'd like pause it to like look. I don't know if you, you were like me, but pause it yeah. to see the fake head, or you know what I mean? Be like, yeah, yeah. you know, like right before it gets cut off, or it's rewind yeah. it and see it again. You know, yeah. it was always how a did big, they how did they do that? You yeah. know, it's like it's amazing. Always, yeah. There's always a, always an extra treat to have like a, a prop fake head that was really well done right. in a horror film. You know, right, like, a, right. like a change of transformation head or head being decapitated or 
whatever yeah. you know head being picked up on camera you know yeah. today, today it's all you know it's today it's uh everybody's doing it so it's you know it's, maybe it's lost its luster a little bit but i think we've done some really good stuff in mutilator too that i hope that uh we get to see um we could see some stuff and i'll i i i'll be able to talk with with you more in detail okay. i have amazing behind the scenes videos yes, of like the I stuff that i built that, yeah. Uh, yeah yeah we and, can show uh, gore we just yeah. can't show the other yeah, so maybe, yeah. <laughs> but uh but yeah man yeah definitely we gotta once that's out we gotta yeah. help spread the word because i'm yeah. excited because i love big huge slasher movie fan so Did, you, we gotta do it yeah i, I made like like a, like a, like puppets of like people from like the mid chest up to like and I, that you could puppeteer so like you know you could move their heads around and no uh, way like, yeah so that way when they died they were moving and stuff like that yeah i did all yeah. kinds did all kinds of stuff for that kind of going back to like old stan winston ever seen a movie called dead and buried oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. you remember how uh, I, people don't realize that but like he was building like full i think we talked about this like, like full like upper torso puppets of people with like you know the eyes moving around and the, the jaw being open and closed whenever he'd kill people he wanted to have some movement in the right in the, yeah he was already doing like mechanical puppets and Crazy. mechanical things way back in the day like or like late 70s early 80s and uh um, yeah. yeah. so th that, that's kind of what i want to get back to you know it's like if if vfx or c gi had never come around think about how far advanced we would be with robotics in special effects that's true you know that what i'm saying true. like yeah. how far along we will we, we would have come and yeah. uh yeah so yeah. yeah crazy stuff we always appreciate the practical we celebrate that you know yeah i mean and, i like, and I I think like me you, yeah i think me and you both said if cgi is yeah. done right yeah and it enhances the practical we're we're all for that absolutely 100 yeah. percent. yeah and i'm super excited about this new movie called uh pool party massacre 2 yeah it's uh i mean i i, I drew I, maverick yeah do 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 do, do mar drew marvick excuse me marvick sorry drew marvick. marvick do do marvick marvick, marvick. Yeah. uh directed the first one and he's doing the second one in vegas and look at uh, this guy yeah this guy here just <laughs> Yeah, D that is amazing shot. He's, he's a super talented man, and uh, yeah, you know, like see, see how like the, the the knife goes into his gum line. Yeah, that sees that this That's is so the, good. The, the, this is how I, I like to take the the ick factor. You know, I call it the ick factor, just right. a little further. And it doesn't it doesn't necessarily have to have a lot of blood. It right. just needs it just needs to have that extra bit of of ick realism in yeah. there. I like to try to do that with all my effects. You know. So yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. and the it's pool, amazing shot. Thank you. And so uh that's not from Pool Party Massacre. That's oh. actually from a movie, another movie. Uh Ruthless? that was ori Ruthless. originally titled, yeah, it was originally titled Ruthless. Okay. I believe uh now it's uh going to be called um let me see here. Uh uh it is called Vegas Bloodbath. Nice Vegas Bloodbath, and nice. uh but um uh, uh, you know, I, I worked with Drew on a couple of, of films now, yeah. and he reached out to me recently and said, "Hey, Joe, can would you like to come on board Pool Party Massacre 2? And I was like, yeah. "I was like, absolutely." The yeah. first movie is a big cult hit, and um, Drew has an amazing. Um, uh, 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 he's he's an influencer on Instagram, and he's got an amazing oh, yeah. following, and. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he's he told, hilarious yeah yeah he, he is he's 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 a he's a, he's a showman I and mean, yeah. he's definitely a showman and he he yeah. knows uh, uh he, he wants to make a really high quality piece of of, of uh some slasher art and i was like i'm i'm, I'm for that Let's you know I, I i i don't mind like these movies that have like lots of blood mm. but 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 what's more impressive for me is when the blood and the effect is effective and medically accurate like right you know right I want, I want it to like send chills down your spine like and so it's not so i don't want i don't like to make effects that are kooky or campy even though i try my hardest not to sometimes that's what happens but my <laughs> goal is to right. make it you know kind of like effective and yeah. you know it's medically accurate this so this uh photo was this from pool party or is this th th that i just okay. I just molded uh charlie classic from last week and uh I, we, we, we've just begun pre-production on the film and uh we're shooting uh we're, shoot we're shooting in in late may early june and uh i have a lot a, a long a, a lot of pieces and parts to put together but we're going to do some really cold stuff for the film and uh nice um, yeah i'm really super proud i'm proud of my work that i'm going to I, i'm already super proud of it but yeah. i'm super super excited and super proud to be on board uh drew's team yeah yeah nice Big shout out to drew uh I, i've been trying to at some point reach out to him to get him on the show but 
Samurai guy's booked. I got a lot of guests, so I gotta I gotta find space uh, to put him in uh, whenever he's free and comes on. But I'll reach out to you, brother. But uh, let's go uh, before we get to the old ones. The old ones. Let's have some fun and uh, let's talk about some Terror Tunes Four, baby. Oh yeah, okay. let's do it. Hey, look at me. What are you up to? This is not cartoon. It's Terror Tunes. This is where it all begins. Oh man. So Samurai guys finally got around to watching Terror Tunes 4. And brother, it was so much fun, dude. I was busting up laughing. You know, I felt like I was on drugs. I mean, it was like <laughs> No, it was so much fun. Everybody watching right now, if you guys are horror anthology fans and if you support independent cinema, uh definitely check it out. It is wild. It is wild. Uh but hey, that's what I expect from Mr. Castro here. But I was it was it was a blast, man. I had a lot of fun with it. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. And uh, you know, Terror Tunes is not for everybody, you know. Yeah, uh, and people say it's very cheesy, and I'm like, yeah, but it's like great, great A cheese, you know, it's yeah. like fine cheese. And uh, uh the cheese is the charm, yeah, yeah, yeah that's the whole point. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, just put it this way, it might look it might be cheesy, but yeah. it's not boring. No, no, no. That, 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 that's the thing, you know. Like you watch some of these movies on on on. And I don't want to knock them, but you know, was it the only the only crime that a movie can commit is it being boring? I, I guarantee you, the Territories Four is not boring. Truth, you've yeah. heard the truth, and I've said that so many times. It's like, oh, I'd rather the movie be so bad that I have a reaction out of it than to have no reaction and forget about yeah. it after yeah. I watch yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, brother, uh, congrats. Uh, you. you know, the, the, the fourth in the series, a beautiful Blu ray box, uh, box set release that was amazing. Um, and so many of your fans were so happy to have all of the Terror 2 movies. And uh, yeah, man, congrats. Thank you so much. This has been uh, wildly successful. Uh, my uh, husband and partner, a producer, uh, Steven Escobar, put all that together for us all to have the quadrilogy, and he did a great job. And um, I'm just super proud of the way the entire uh, quadrilogy turned out and the yeah. way that uh, it's been received by I get all kinds of, you know, really great, you know, uh, private messages from the fans uh, on Facebook and Instagram. And, you know, it just really warms my heart whenever someone reaches out to me and, and says they got their copy and that they love it. And, you know, what about Terror Tunes 5 is what they say. And I'm like, oh, man, you know, like we, 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 we were like, OK, Terror Tunes 4 is going to be the last one. Yeah. And then, of course, as soon as uh, we, we, we we had no idea how widely successful part four was going right. to be. And sure enough, they're like, no, you got to do a part five now. I was going to ask you we'll, that. We'll, we'll, we'll take, we're going to take a little break. We'll take a little yeah. break. Yeah, yeah, we'll right. come back to it a bit. <laughs> Well, only because, you know, it took us, um, like, when we shot the first movie, we shot the first film in three days for $2,300. And, and, and then we shot the second movie yeah. for um, uh, for $13,000 in seven days. Right. And then uh, it took us almost 10 years to make the third film. Wow. Uh, on and off. And it was, just, yeah. it was a big struggle. And then it took us almost nine years to make the fourth one. Right, and, and we we shot the third and the fourth one almost. We started them both at the same time, but then yeah, there was uh, we were we actually had planned on shooting three, four, and five all together, and there was so much information there. We just decided to go ahead and release part three on its own, and then we or th part three, and then we finished part four, and right. um, we uh, we, we don't. We, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know that Terror Twins Five will be what we, what it originally was intended to be. Now that we've seen uh, what we did with Part Four, I never yeah. like to make the same movie twice. So each each one in the series is yeah. very is very different. It's very gotcha, different. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, uh, Kevin here. I would love to check out Terror Tunes. Your special effects work is fantastic. Look at that. Thank you so much. Thank Look you. That. Thank you. This um, oh man, this. <laughs> This short film was nuts. Uh, it's probably one of my favorites. Actually, I enjoyed all of them, but this is definitely one of my favorites. But this decapitation effect with the head was so good, dude. 
Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, Mike Ferguson getting his uh, head cut off and getting ready to be re replaced with a gorilla. Right. Uh, that head really had to become Max Assassin, which is the original, uh, one of the original villains from the original uh, Terror Tunes. Uh, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so I, cool. I wanted it to be like a full on, you know, I just remember back in like the 80s when whenever there was an on screen decapitation, they'd have it in like slow motion or you, right. you just got to really watch it look at it when it was happening yeah i wanted one of those in the film so yeah, we decided yeah. to do it yeah that was great if you guys want to see it you got to watch it on tubi so yeah, yeah. It's a good, oh thank you yeah that's good that's a good plug that's a good plug yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so good so good yeah it starts off with him with mm -hmm. the uh the reverse shot of the hatchet going into his neck and then we yeah i i've learned over the years you don't have to cut away and then cut back. You can just cut to a different angle right. of the same thing. And, you know, the audience will be tricked. And, you know, yeah. so, yeah. I, I mean, I, I kind of consider Terror Tunes for like a, like a, like a 90 minute special effects shot. You know, yeah. I can see movie, that. The whole movie <laughs> is, is, and that's why it took us so long to do it, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. You know, then this is a Lizzie Borden that uh, the, the girl with the, with the makeup on her face. That's Lizzie Borden from the original right. film. She plays candy in the original movie. She makes a reprise in this film. And uh, there's uh Mike, uh, <laughs> giant rats, giant lab rats. And yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, this is just, I can't, I can't help but smile when I see this kind of stuff, man. I mean, look at this. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I Thank love you. it. I love yeah. It. Uh, was yeah. this the was this the the same rat? Yeah, uh, no, th th that's actually a oh, werewolf yeah, I, hit. That's I, I actually on the wrong one. Sorry. Yeah. Hold on. I'll no. find it. Uh, this one. Yes, that's okay. the same rat head. Yes. So, so originally this movie was this rat head was made for a movie called Big Freaking Rat, and um, you know <laughs> they made this ninety minute movie about a big giant rat, and there's like less than sixty seconds of the rat in the film, right. and and, then, and by the end of shooting and production, it was covered in like blood and dirt from outside. We shot it in the woods and this and that. So no one wanted it over at their house, so I kept it in my garage for a while, and then no one ever. I mean, it's giant. No one ever came to pick it up, so I ended up getting to keep it. And uh, when we were doing, when we started writing Territories for the opening sequence where it was uh, Dr. Carnage origin stories, I'm like, let's use that big rat as a giant, la his like giant evil Dr. Carnage lab rat. And uh, so we, we, you know, we hauled that thing out and put it in the movie. Yeah. And I got to, then I got to shoot like all the angles that I wanted to see that they never did for the other film. And, you know, there was a, there was supposed to be a scene in the other film where this guy gets a rat, the, 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 the rat eats the guy. And so the, the, uh, there's a whole person's body in the rat's mouth. Oh, and, and I, right. I wanted, I wanted to do that. So I, you know, I put, you know, we, we, we did that and just nice. uh, got, got to do all the stuff we wanted. We weren't able to do with the first film. Yeah, there you go. We got uh, Tubi is awesome. Has some good stuff. I love the artwork. Uh, gives me Beetlejuice vibes. Absolutely, right? yeah. That's a great. Yeah. Thank you. That's a that's a that's an honor to be used. Have my film be used in the same sentence as Beetlejuice. Yeah, yeah. this no, guy. No. Yeah, yeah. This, go, ahead. go ahead. This guy right here. His name is Derek in the film, and um, Derek is uh, a science experiment gone wrong. One of the, right. the evil Doctor Conscience. Yes. Uh, yeah. So he's part human, part stuffed animal. You know, right. that's, that's where the, the terror tunes kind of thing comes in. You know, I, I like to use things like crayons and children's toys and stuffed animals and cartoons and yeah. this kind of stuff in the film, you know? And, yeah. uh, and so this was a, this was a stuffed toy that, um, that, um, uh, he was, he got like, I guess fused together, kind of like, you know, the fly, you know, he fused him with a stuffed animal and, uh, yeah. When I saw the character show up in the movie, I was just like, you know what? This, is, this sums up Joe right here. Oh, Look, that's, super, that's can, super kind of you. You know, you, yeah, yeah. Joe can easily, you know, concoct something together, and he can easily give you something that's extremely adorable, but yet nightmare fuel at the same time. Uh, uh, it's very, <laughs> it's very kind. Yeah, you know, the, the, and this character is like the sympathetic character. You know, right. I, I, in the first film, it's you know, it's like you know, the teenagers, you know, basically trying to outlive the evil villains. And right. I wanted, I wanted to have a, a Terror Tunes character in this film that was sympathetic. And so Derek is like, you know, he's he's, he's tragically a victim of of Doctor Carnage, and he's trying to find his way out of the madness too. But even if he got out of the madness, he would still be this mutant you right. know stuffed animal and so it's, it's and kind he, of and it's kind of brings mean. it up too the yeah. character's like yeah what, you know, what about you know what, what about what's me? in it for me if yeah. i actually get out of here so yeah yeah, yeah. if i survive this yeah. madness we have, well, yeah yeah speaking of madness 
We got we got the gorilla head now fused onto the human body. Yes, <laughs> yes. With Tommy Gunn showing up. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that that's that's an actual homage to the an original scene in from the first film where the cartoon gorilla pulls out a Tommy gun and starts Love shooting it. everybody. And uh, yeah, yeah, they brought in the action action hero Mike Ferguson to play that role. I'm super <laughs> super happy, Mike. There's Ken May. There's our writer uh, Brian Burkoff in the job. There's the that's a. Uh, uh, bring Stevens right there. She's actually yeah. into two roles. The, the, he, this the, the, this scene, the, the 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 yeah, right there. That's Brink back there. But the the other shot of her where she's standing, screaming with the red eyes, mm -hmm. that was shot in 2012. This is wow. shot. This is her in 2012, and the other shot is of her in 2020. No way. Look yeah, that. That, that, movie that, magic. That, well, that's how long it took us to shoot the film. Right, because right. we were, yeah, it, and because it's an anthology film, this, yeah. this is from a, a, another story, a story that right. she directed and she produced, and uh, yeah. you know what, this might be my favorite. This one here will bring, yeah, I'm yeah. super proud of what she did. I'm super proud of this story, and uh, it, it took us four years just to put together this story that she wrote. Yeah. It's called Personal Demons, yeah. and it's a, uh, it's a, uh, yeah, it's basically. You know, the entire movie was shot on a ten by ten green screen uh, sheet. It was set. Wow! It was just it was, it oh, was yeah. all done in the garage. Yeah. And um, look at that! Uh, yeah. yeah. So so if if you want to see a bit of movie magic, watch that. The whole thing was shot in our garage yeah. in a ten by ten uh, uh, green screen set. Shout out to uh, to Brink. Brink, yeah, yeah. Brink is amazing. She, she was great. Oh, like in terms of acting, I like the story. Yeah, you she know? she wrote it, she directed it, and so she good. stars in it, and she stars yeah. in it. Yeah, and Billy Butler's in it from uh, Friday Thirteenth Part Seven and the color remake of Night of the Living Dead, and yes. uh, Linnea Quig Linnea Quigley's in it from uh, Return of the Living Dead. She's great. Shout yeah. out to Linnea. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Debbie Rashan is also in it from yeah. Romeo and Juliet, and uh, or was it Tara Firmer? I'm not sure. One of those, and she's just done countless films over the years. I love Debbie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Debbie's in it, and uh, uh, yeah, we got a lot of a lot a lot of name talent in the film. I, I just, love. I, was this Ed Two Hundred Nine inspired here? We got going do, do you like that? that that's a, I, that's a, I enjoyed it. <laughs> that, that, that's a because I tried like to do everything practical. That's yeah. A, so yeah, and, and on on this is this is a giant robot that we built, and. Right. Uh, and, and and I so I filled in the set with the CG. The sides are CG, right? Right. But then I sh I shrunk the girl down to make the robot look bigger, right? And, right. And then yeah, but all all that stuff there on the robot is you know those that that's a the legs I think are vacuum clean old vacuum cleaners and uh, look at that yeah Amazing. and the, yeah yeah and the, <laughs> the, 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 the the light in the front of it is a is a heater is a is like a little a little space heater that we yeah. pull out put a red gel in and put a light in it and. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, I, I love. You I, can't I, have my mother's heart. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good stuff. And there she is. There she is. There's Linnea. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, just wild, wild, just pure, wonderful insanity. Yeah, I really Thank enjoyed you. it, man. Just pure, pure insanity, but so much fun, and that's what it's all about. The key word is fun. So don't forget, everybody watching, uh, check out Terror Tunes Four right now for free on Tubi. Check that's it out. That's right. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, everyone was great. Uh, and again, you know, all the hard work. You know, you put so much hard work. Uh, you know, in in your craft, my friend. You know. Thank you. Yes. That's why I like to show you off. Like, Thank you. I appreciate. Like, look that. at everybody bask, bask yeah, yeah, in the yeah. awesomeness. Yeah, that's the uh, updated version of the evil Doctor Carnage from the from the first yeah. film. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. So played good. by Douglas Epps, and uh, you know, many people have worn the the mask, and uh, yeah. I've even jumped into the original old green. The the the, the original uh, character from the first film uh, does make a guest appearance in the last se sequence in the in the film uh, about uh, with the chickens and um, <laughs> the chickens. It's called, I, it was called the the the, the, the clucking, right? No, what do we call yeah, it? The, I think the, so. the clucking. Yeah, yeah it's, it's called it's the clucking. <laughs> the clucking. It's called the it's clucking. Insane. It was gonna uh, be. It, 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 we, I was gonna title it the the Rocky Horror Chicken Show, but we decided to call it the Clucking. Yeah. I, I like that better. The, yeah. the Rocky Horror Chicken yeah. Show, but that, that Rocky Horror would have worked too. Yeah. Now, now this the, for this short was, was this was he was he a candy corn head? Yes, that's the candy corn killer in the film. Nice. The candy corn, and that sculpted by Joss Wazzy Link. A uh, very very talented young man. Yeah. Uh, in Texas, has a mask company called Nightmare Force. 
You can find him on Instagram, Nightmare Force. But uh, yeah, Josh nice. made that amazing mask for us. And uh, there's a the, the 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 this one story. It's called the Heads of Mister Switch, and it's a, basically a character created by Doctor Carnage, and he has the ability to change his head into different heads. And it happens right. on Halloween night, so we right. thought it would be fun to have one of his heads uh, change into a giant candy corn. Candy corn killer. That's that's Perfect. what it is. Yeah, I'm Giant surprised candy. that hasn't been done before. Candy corn killer. Candy <laughs> corn it. killer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we got a multi gun man from Canada says he loves that rat head that we showed earlier. He loves it, Ed. There we go. And uh, he goes, uh, Kevin goes, haha, looks wild and fun. Multi guns loving the scenes we showed in the trailer. So yeah, the, the chat's digging it right now. Right on. So for sure, everybody watching, right. you guys will dig it too. Uh, if you're into the wild and crazy world of yeah. horror anthologies, it, it, it's why um, Herschel Gordon Lewis uh, is actually the star of the third uh, Terror Tunes, yeah. Terror Tunes three, and yeah. uh, he describes the franchise as wild and unpredictable. Yeah, so if you if you like your movies unpredictable, right? Uh, which I do, um, then yeah. you, you would love it. Yeah, you don't you don't know what's going to happen next. You don't, you don't you don't know what you're going to see next. You know. Yeah. Copy that. Well, speaking of wild and predictable here, uh, or, oh, excuse me, unpredictable. Boom! Look at these other amazing art crafts here. We got going here, man. So good. That's actually the devil from my very first feature film titled Ceremony, which you can get right now on uh, TerrorTunes.tv. But uh, that's the first feature I directed in 1993. And uh, the devil makes a couple of appearances in the film. And uh, I did not make that devil. Uh, oh, okay. A friend, of, a friend of mine made that devil for me. Uh, I, I just designed it with him. Uh, my oh, uncle, nice. My uncle uh, Ronnie sent us those horns from Texas to incorporate into the actual uh, uh, into the actual head. Yeah. And uh, my best friend from high school, Rudy Bali, is actually inside that makeup wearing it. And uh, nice. uh, he actually oh, cool. co-wrote the film with me. Yeah. Ceremony. Look at that, though. That's so yeah. good. Yeah. That's so good, man. And um, here we got another one, another one of my favorites here. <laughs> this is uh, from a, a movie coming out this year called uh, End Zone 2. And it's Electric actually, Boogaloo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's actually a, uh, it's like a lost, a lost film from the 70s. It's supposed to be like a, like a lost movie. Okay. From the 70s. It's shot as though it's only 60 minutes long. Right. So it's, it's like the last reel of the film was lost. They never finished okay. it. So the, you only really see the first 60 minutes of the movie. And uh, then uh, um, uh, there's a documentary that was made about it. About oh, wow. This lost film. Okay. And, uh, and then that, that mask is the killer from the lost film. Yeah. Nah. It's actually a really fun movie. End Zone 2. It's, it's coming really out this year? Here? it's coming out this year it's a really nice. fun film it's a really fun film yep mm -hmm. copy that let's switch it to some werewolf action we got going on here that's still yeah. available right now yeah that's uh, the beast comes at midnight i played this werewolf in the film and look at that guy uh, <laughs> so you nailed the juice joe you nailed because you got you got to have the werewolf fangs juicy Oh, absolutely! Yeah, it's be juicy. Yeah, man. yes, yeah, it's got to be juicy. Now, this is actually like a young person's film. It's like for, you know, yeah, it's it, it, it's, it, it's it's meant to be like like parents when they want to introduce their their kids to horror and then they don't want to show them the blood. You know, this right. is a, it's like a kind of like a silver bullet uh, PG kind of film. You know, right, PG right. thirteen. And so it was meant to have a little bit more of a light, light heart, a light hearted uh, feel to it. Uh, I didn't do any kills or blood in the film. I, right, I, pl right. I play the werewolf and I'm, I am the werewolf in the movie. And I'm also the man that turns into the werewolf. But a super talented group of people down in Florida that made that. Ed McKeever and uh, Michael McKeever stars in the film. And Todd Orfer produced that. And uh, just a whole bunch of amazing people. Down there. But it's The Beast Comes at Midnight. Stars uh, uh, Michael Pere yeah, and Eric Robertson is in it and yeah. yeah i get to act with those guys in the film so it was a how cool. it's kind of kind of an honor you know to yeah. be there on set with michael well, parade you know, i'll tell, tell you one thing i'll tell you one thing if i was a little samurai guy and i'm watching this this probably still would scare me <laughs> even if i was a little kid yeah it, but uh yeah man it's but it's perfect it's great you know a, a nice gateway movie to, a gateway you know, great film, film yeah this is a horror this is the horror genre but we're not going to yeah. traumatize you yet you gotta wait yeah. to get older <laughs> <laughs> then you can watch Bad Moon and uh, you know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, this one right here is Jackhammer. What's this? Okay, what's this one? so 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 this film right here is one of my very first features that I shot, and uh, Lionsgate actually released this movie. It's called the Jackhammer Massacre, and you can get it on TerrorTunes.tv. We finally released the uncut director's cut of the movie because nice. when it, when it was released back in nine, uh, 2004, yeah, it had to be heavily edited to get an R rating to get on the into Blockbuster. Because see, wow. Blockbuster had, in order to get your movie into Blockbuster, it yeah. had to be rated by the MPAA rating system. It's not like it is today. Wow. Where you can just throw your movie up on there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so in order to get, get, get your movie into the Blockbuster store, you know, on VHS or whatever, right? Where yeah. You, you had to have your movie rated by the MPAA, and that cost money. And see, wow. so that's, that, that's why not just any, not not just everybody could make movies back then, right? And, and so right. we, you know, we we I don't know how much it was fifteen hundred or three grand or something like that to have yeah. the little. I mean, then every time that you had, you had to make a new edit, it was a little extra a little extra charge, you know. Gotcha. That's how they make that's how they make money, you know. Mm. And um, so that that film was called the Jackhammer Massacre, and it was released in two thousand four, and we just released the unedited director's cut because every kill in the film was heavily edited for oh. our rating oh every that must film. have been that must have been heartbreaking for it you. was heartbreaking for me because it was a, it's a beautiful movie yeah. uh with all the kills in it and they were like so over the top i mean so so great and yeah. it's actually a very like it's it's probably one of our more serious movies so oh, okay um, all right yeah, nice, it's, it's nice. So this is like that, but that Friday, right, was it Friday Thirteenth Part Seven all over again. Yeah. But at least, unlike Friday Thirteenth Part oh, yeah, seven, seven, yeah, at least you have the now people yeah. can watch the unrated version. That's right. That's the right. way the way it was supposed to be. So. Yeah, absolutely. They did all kinds of crazy stuff. Like when whenever you would see the per the kill, they would like zoom in to the camera so you couldn't see when the, the where the kill was happening, and <sighs> they were just all kinds of. Crap. It's Anyways, so I know. Uh, <laughs> well, well, what I found out was the guy that was responsible for doing the editing of the actual edit of the cuts mm -hmm. um, was was an also a filmmaker, and he was um, kind of like jealous of the film. So no. he was, yeah. So he like was intentionally cutting stuff out on purpose, just to, yeah. Wow, <sighs> I can't Man. believe it. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. That's, that's so, and that that picture right there that you put up the, is with the with the with the with the uh, syringes for the for the yeah. This is wicked, man. Yeah, this is the, wicked the, design. The, 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 that's actually a crystal meth nightmare. This guy, Whoa. it's crystal meth in the film, and so that's one of his nightmares. It's this crystal meth demon. Whoa, yeah, yeah. That's what that is supposed. Nice. To be. And people can watch this where again? Uh, you well, you can you can get it, it's only for it's only uh, on hard copy Blu-ray. Uh, at terratunes.tv terratunes.tv yeah yeah, nice, yeah. Nice. the jackhammer massacre this hell yeah the self destruction is only the beginning yeah i love that i like that shit it's worth buying just to just to say <laughs> hey i have something that was heavily edited back in the day. heavily I edited the version it, 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 it was basically banned from all wow. uh, uh retail stores because of the gore yeah buy it now get yeah. it now i'm gonna get my copy too but in yeah. the back there i saw i keep when you keep moving i keep seeing a pig in the back yeah yeah that, 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 that's pig killer that's is that pig. this pig that, yeah oh uh, well it's from the same film Okay, it's from the same film, but that the, the one in behind me is the uh, is is a, is, a, is, a, is a slaughtered pig head that Jake Busey wears in the film. Now ah, this now that okay. pig you just posted there is Balthazar, and Balthazar is uh, the pet pig of the actual man, uh, Willie Picton. He had a, he had a he had a pet pig named Balthazar, ba yeah. and uh, and so the director Chad Farron, Chad Farron had me make a like a full full scale pig. To, to puppeteer and be, you know, there. Um, oh, yeah. And, and, yeah. Cause you, you, you can't, you can't like get like, uh, like a like an eight hundred pound pig on a movie set, no. like it doesn't work like that. <laughs> no. you, you you can barely get them in a, in a, in the back of a trailer and take them someplace. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. Like you can't, <laughs> and, and, and you just you, you can't make the pig do anything. You know, right, right. and uh, uh, so, <laughs> but so, eat. They, they, you can make them eat. That's you, well, about it. Yeah, they'll, they'll eat, they, they literally they literally ate a silicone arm whole. Whoa. Like I just just ate it, and they're like, "Oh yeah, they're trash cans. They'll eat anything." <laughs> and um, the I mean, we didn't. I, I didn't feed it to them. I put it down in the shot, right? And they went over and just ate it. I didn't know they were gonna wow. eat the dang thing. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, but but uh, 
uh, uh, yeah, he said, we, we, we have an eight, actual 800 pound pig in the film. And, uh, so I went to this, to the, to the, to the pens where they, where they, where they had the animal at a, like a wildlife reserve and took all these pictures of it and, yeah. and, uh, and tried to man. reproduce it. Yeah. Look at that. He's, phenomenal. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate phenomenal that. stuff, man. Thank you. Thank you. It's, and we're going to keep the phenomenal stuff going here. Boom. What? Oh yeah. That, this is new. This is brand new. This is fresh. Look this is new. Look at this that. is, this is, um, uh, Courtney Gaines from the original, uh, children of the corn. And, nice. uh, yeah, he's, uh, Malachi, right. In uh, the, uh, the children of the corn. Right. And, uh, he, um, he, he, I, he's in a movie called Infernal that I'm uh, working on with uh, uh, director Eric Mathis and my husband Steven Escobar is editing the film and just yeah, all that kinds looks of wild. Yeah, all that kinds, looks wild. Yeah. all kinds of amazing talent in that film. Like yeah. so, so many, too many to even mention. Sky Elobar and I just if you see actually once I begin I'm like okay I got to pull up the, the the list. Anyways, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I I I I told the director I said you think Courtney would be would be would be willing to have me have horns demon horns coming out of his eyes and he's yeah. like let me ask let me ask and i said uh he asked me because yeah he said yeah he, he would do that as long as you could see a little bit out of his right eye is that okay and i was like yeah yeah we can do that so i was so happy that courtney uh, uh was with it for it and allowed look me to at do that, that. So yeah, good, yeah, man. I mean, that literally looks like it's coming out, coming out of his like eyes. It's not just stickers are stuck on there with duct Thank tape. You. Thank you. Like, Thank that you. looks Thank amazing. I uh, appreciate that, brother, very much. Yeah. Last one here. Boom. Yeah, I I don't know if this movie will ever see the light of day. The, to be honest with you, the sculpture here, uh, I don't th I don't think they're going to shoot the film. But I did. You know, sometimes I, I make stuff and uh, and uh, the movie's never completed. You know, or, or you know, yeah. no one ever gets to see it. Oh, this is a this is a character called La Chusa, which is a Hispanic folklore about an owl witch. And um, uh, this was made for a gentleman in Texas. And uh, um, I don't know that the movie will ever be shot, but um, who knows? Yeah, who knows? Uh, who knows? But that was that was a, that but was it's a keeping you creative. It's keeping me okay. creative. I have the mold. Yeah, I have the yeah. mold. You it. could show it off. Like yeah, I'm showing yeah. it off right now. Like, yeah. hey, producers and filmmakers, look yeah. what look what I can do. Yeah. Did, 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 did you used to read Fangoria like back in the eighties? Back in the day, man. Yeah, and, and and you know, every once in a while you'd see like a picture of like something. You'd be like, "What's that from?" And then then that movie never came out. And uh, yeah. yeah, or this was like you know. You know, Rick Baker made this, you know, in his lab, but he, he never, they never shot it or he never got to see it. That's what yeah. that is. That's, that's, that's what Fangoria that is. was awesome because they would show the gore on the cover of the yeah, magazine. Oh, yeah. Like, I remember before Event Horizon even came out, I think they showed the shot of the, uh, the, the somebody getting spiked through the back, like coming out of the mouth. Uh huh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like, that was like on yeah. the cover of yeah. Fangoria. It was insane. Yeah. You, you know, I what I like used to like about Fangoria was that they actually interviewed the actual monster makers, and the monster makers would like have this casual conversation like you and I are having in the magazine and give away little secrets and this and that. That was really, yeah. you know, the people that actually made the horror they interviewed, right? Uh, you know, and uh, and they still do. They still do. Uh uh uh. Uh, and I, and I, and I, and I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, I, I just, that's what I grew up with. So I, right, I, yeah. I wouldn't be where I am without Fangoria basically, you know, and yeah. I'm so, I'm so grateful that they did that, you know? Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Fangoria. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That's 100%. one of the coolest mags ever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Oh, it is time. Yeah. Let's go ahead and have some fun here and, uh, let's talk about, the old ones. Oh, That's the old right. One. Let's yeah. go ahead and get into this. I'm going to play the trailer right now. Let's do it. Do it. You got his arm? Pull him up. I don't feel a pulse. My name is Russell Marsh. I was born in 1865. My name is Dan Gordon. I need an ambulance. We, we, we pull a man out of the, the river and... Run, Gideon, run! So what's an old one, anyway? The great old ones were here ages before mankind. Would you mind filling me in on what we're doing here and how this will help bring back my dad? We're going to go see uh, Neil Okay, who is Neil Arthotep? Strange dark one, to whom fellas bowed. So he's some kind of prophet, then? Sort of. To all the old ones that cross my path.
I offer you this. Leftovers? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think it's one of my favorite lines in the movie. Yeah, Left left over. Over. <laughs> yeah. Then he's oh, sorry. All the old ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah man. We, yeah, we, we we shot that film like literally like the rainiest it's ever been in LA in like a decade, and right. it was like literally raining on us when we were shooting portions of that film. Wow! And we were like walking in the mud. I remember I threw away a pair of shoes yeah. after working on one day on set, and so it has this really swampy kind of sticky kind of feel to it we were out in the woods with just uh, mud and creatures and rubber and glue and oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it comes you across made it happen you made yeah. it happen yeah absolutely yeah man but uh i just recently watched it and i enjoyed it man i had a lot of fun with it man i really yeah. i was really entertained by it i don't know what it is it's just that world is always fascinating to me uh -huh. you know whether it's a short film whether it's big budget movie, they just kind of show snippets of that world, uh -huh. or you know, a micro budget or a smaller budget. It doesn't matter what budget. That world is so fascinating, man. Yeah. It just never gets old. Yeah. You can constantly make stories uh, based in this world, uh, the, the, based in the world of H.P. Lovecraft. Yeah, yeah, based in this. It's a. It's because it's magic. It's yeah. It's, it's cosmic horror. I didn't even know that that, that that terminology existed until I worked on this film. And the director said, he said I said, uh, well, you know, because there, there's stuff. And I'm like, uh, this guy's head blows up in it. And I'm like, uh, do you want me to put blood in it? He's like, well, we're, we're, we're going to backlight it with light. And we're going to make it like like flu like all kinds of fluid come out, like, right. water, like crystal clear water. I'm like, oh, why is that? He goes, because it's cosmic horror. Yeah. And I went, oh, okay. We can do it. You can do kind of kind of kind of you know universal kind of I don't know cosmic you know with yeah. stars and well, stuff. Well, you have the you know like uh, Nicholas Cage's Color Out of Space, which I really enjoyed. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Stuart Gordon's Dagon. Yeah, oh, that's you great. Know, that's uh, great speaking great. of Dagon, Dagon's mentioned in this movie. Yeah, yeah. He's actually uh, one of the first characters right. in Four Eyes in the beginning of the yeah, film. I'm going to yeah. show him. I'm going to show him in a second here. But, yeah, let's let's take a look at it again, man. But, yeah, man, well done Thank on you. the effects. And uh, well done for the cast. And uh, shout out to Chad. He did a great job directing it. Chad really knows how to, to how to how to direct. And he really knows how to take practical effects and really use them well. You know, What, what kind of surprised me and made me smile a little bit towards the end uh was i saw some stop motion <laughs> like i could have sworn i saw some stop motion effects yeah, a little that, bit that, that, that's jeff leroy ah he's also a special okay. effects artist uh and a great filmmaker himself yeah. he shout out to jeff uh, yeah hell's highway and he yeah he, yeah he did that also i you have to get you give a shout out to jeff billings our director of photography who shoots all this stuff and makes this dark grisly world for us yeah and, yeah, uh, when he, you said this was shot in L.A., I never would have thought this movie was shot in L.A. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We shot all in the. We, that's Ch Chad knows how to find all the the creepy yeah. crawly uh, corners and and spaces and parts and of L.A. to make his films, which I we were very very uh, happy for. Yeah, how many? How long did you uh, did it take to film the film? The entire movie. I'm gonna say. 11 days maybe wow 11 days like right. literally literally that the opening shot right there if you go back that the the, the, the that shot right that 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 first shot yeah is that, that that's literally like the last shot of production we shot and it's the first shot in the film wow and and, and the camera is sunk in a swimming pool yeah in freezing cold weather while it's raining and everybody's just uh, we were just trembling and the, the, the camera's literally in the bottom of the swimming pool to get that shot and, and robert miano the actor who's got to be i don't know he's at least 65 70 he jumped into the water and was floating there for this shot wow well, yeah shout out to him yeah, yeah. It's freezing cold yeah and there oh he is. And this is when we had all the floods in la we had the floods oh. i guess it was two years ago about two years yeah. ago yeah 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 a year and a half ago two years ago this is when we had all the floods in la and uh this is huge creek that was swollen up on the set where we were shooting around the end on the property we were shooting so robert just jumped in the water and floated down the the swollen river yeah look at robert doing his own stunts yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow that's indie filmmaking right there. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But yeah, I love the beginning here. 
was so good. And he did such Not, a great job. Th th this kid right here, he's the he's the guy that uh, that uh, um did the shirt. Uh, the shirt, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Ben, nice. Ben is his name, I believe. Ben. Oh, shout out yeah. to Ben. But yeah, this actor, uh, so you Robert Miano. Robert Miano. Yeah. Great job in the film. But there's, I love, I love the, this. The, there's the Dagon character with the, with the four, the four eyes. Yeah, I love this. I was def, I was so, I was definitely getting like a little bit of a humanoids from the deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. From it. good. It's there. He is there. There's the, there's the character. Yeah, yeah. So good, man. Thank how you. Fun. I how I fun appreciate is that? that. I appreciate. I that. mean, the design of it's amazing, but then how it's shot in the movie, like this shot right here. I, I appreciate it, dark and and and, and sinister yeah. like that. Yeah, and then there's like, a couple of close ups of it that they show later. But yeah, like yeah. right here, like that one. That one's great. That was and a then great there's shot. one. There's one where he kind of opens his mouth and he right screams. Here, right here. Bam! Yeah, that's yeah, great. Yeah. Good shot. I love that. Thing. just enough I'd, I'd rather have an amazing i'd rather have 10 amazing effects than like 50 mediocre ones right exactly yeah yeah <laughs> so good <laughs> thank you thank you so good, so good i tried to uh i wanted i i, I tried to make the teeth uh glass translucent and uh just try to do some different things you know yeah whenever i get a chance see the teeth are kind of like glass kind of translucent. how long did it take to put dagon together here uh you know i think i got 30 days to do all the effects in the film uh right. so you know i probably spent maybe a week on him you know and, nice uh, nice yeah and uh we we're back to uh this gorgeous handsome yeah, person you, right? you know these are supposed to be background characters yeah these, these, they, were, they were just supposed to be background masks but i guess the director liked them liked them so much he sh he shot close of them but they were just supposed to be shadowy figures in the background well when uh, they look like this oh, i okay, mean here. come uh, on you <laughs> gotta show it off man it's just you know i'm just, just... <laughs> Yeah. so good yeah there's just so supposed good. to be some back background characters but, yeah. Uh, yeah yeah they were having fun yeah I, uh, yeah look at yeah, this guy. yeah and this is the, that that shot right there that was literally on the side of a highway that uh well actually in the middle between two giant highways two two giant highways i think it was a bit on the 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 14 the, the 118 i think and uh uh yeah. out here in la but uh yeah one of the executive producers owns a piece of property between two highways and we drove this weird uh, path and got to shoot in the, in between the, 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 the two highways. There's like uh one of those um, paintball paintball places where you can, you can shoot paint. paint yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. They have, they have a thing set up there where you can go out and act like a, like a, like a person, you know, in war or whatever and yeah. shoot, sh you know, shoot people. Have some fun out there. Yeah. Okay. Just feel like, yeah, yeah. Do some crazy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Hey, you got, got to use what works. Use what's around you. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. <laughs> that guy <laughs> i was gonna say yeah. that uh, was yeah, that he, his was that his choice to i don't through? know whose choice that was but this guy right here <laughs> in this pink in this pink outfit the waitress he's, he's just straight up like a he's just like a straight up gangster who <laughs> they they threw in this this pink dress and he just went for it like yeah so what i'm so what i'm wearing a dress who yeah. cares what are, you, what are you gonna do about it <laughs> i'm not gonna you know yeah. knock your block off he man. went all just, in he went all in yeah don't don't talk to me any other way yeah he's a straight up went into oh uh, funny yeah. yeah yeah that's paul blunkin one of our executive producers he turns into a, a shogoth a shogoth yeah yeah in the film Shout out did, to paul. Yeah, yeah he did a great job i mean you know there's a lot of people don't want like a lot of ick on him but i just poured the slime on him and and right yeah. right before we did the, the take and uh did a really good job this is our near lathotep uh character. this actor did a phenomenal job yeah he's uh actually from uh um i believe the new star trek um discovery what's oh what's, really wait, wait wait what's what's the new one called discovery discovery i believe he's in yeah in Doctor discovery i believe okay. i believe he is he may, may maybe I, maybe i'm mistaken maybe the one before that or okay uh, one, one of them but he's i think he's in discovery yeah nice yeah, nice yeah. yeah he did great but what i what i loved about <laughs> his character who's evil by the way you know yeah what i loved about the character was he had this sense of humor about him yeah and i was just like yes more sen more humor because i was enjoying the movie but i was just like the the sense of humor moments from this character was just like so unexpected and i enjoyed that because it was ca he was catching me off guard he was making me laugh on the way he was acting but in a good way he, he did a, a good, good job he did a real yeah. good job yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. His face expressions, everything, man. He's so good. 
Like he's so good. But this now, see again, you got the juice right, Joe. You got you, you got you got to make it juicy. You showering me with compliments. Yeah, the, we, we I was I sprayed that thing down right before we did this shot. Yeah, I, I you know I, you know what? Have, have you ever Googled the inside of a turtle's mouth? No, I have not. No. You should Google the inside yeah. of a snapping turtle's mouth, and it looks like that. It has that many teeth in it. Whoa! It has. It looks like that. That's inside. insane. So, so Google it if you don't believe me, and okay. you will see that I'm not joking. In fact, that's not even enough teeth. That's how many teeth they have in their mouth. No way! Inside, I'm not inside, 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 what? inside. So I want you to Google a, a turtle's mouth, and you'll see. It I'm has about to so, do it. Yeah. Um, and that's so that's crazy. And, and that, so because I, I, I went into like doing research with like aquatic stuff, right? You know, we got yeah. this cosmic horror going on, we have HP Lovecraft, we have the right. old ones and by the sea. So I wanted to, to do something that, that that was that was still in the same vein that wasn't that hadn't been done before. So yeah, that's where I found that that I the idea that's where I was oh, inspired from. Look, that you just blew my mind right now. I had no idea that, it's the inside that's, of a turtle's that's mouth. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> That's so. Yeah. Good. That's just a great design, though, man. Well done. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate phenomenal. that very much. Yeah, I had a lot of fun doing that. Yeah. <laughs> but his character was cracking me up too, <laughs> because he's been through so much shit already. He's just like, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we might, we might die. You know. Yeah. yeah. We're not, yeah. we're not safe. You know, but <laughs> we're, we have to do what we have to do. And 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 you know, like like originally, I don't know. I forget how. It was supposed to happen, but you know they're supposed to go from one time to another time, and and Chad's like they literally crawl through his belly. You know they have to they have to get <laughs> crawl through his belly, and Chad, Chad's like let's just make him crawl through that but that hole right there. And I'm like yeah. okay, all yeah, right, yeah. let's let's do that. Chad, Chad's great about making stuff up like that on the spot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Joe, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, this might be my favorite part of the movie, man. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the, the Shogoth, the Shogoth transformation. Yeah, this was so good. So he did, that's Paul Blunkin. He did a real good job. He let us do all that stuff. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. all this with the show goth was just like, because I, I just, thought, you know, we were going to have another human that was, you know, a human follower, right? Right. That was just going to come in there and, and try to get uh, this character. But I was like, oh, it just escalated because it just started <laughs> with the tentacles, right? And then, <laughs> and then it just got insane after that. And I was like, there's Joe. Well, you know, there's Joe, people, he's doing it. If people don't know what a Shogoth is, it has like it has like multiple eyes and yeah. Like like a, like a kind of like a like a un, uncoordinated over the top amount of teeth and tentacles. It's yeah. kind of like a big amoeba kind of thing. And yeah. uh and you know, so it's hard for a, dis a director to describe it to you unless you you know you can let me do a little research and find out right. what HP Lovecraft described it as or whatever. But right, yeah, it was kind of like anything I, goes almost. I recorded that scene uh from beginning to end uh, on my phone. Okay. And I, I sent it to my wife when she's at work. Okay. And she she re she replied. Uh. <laughs> Tell her thank she you loves, so much. Yeah, she loves yeah. she loves that kind of stuff, man. Yeah, full scale uh, practical effects. That was like. great. Yeah, it was it was yeah. great because not just because it was great, but it was great because it was unexpected too. Thank you. Uh, but uh, oh, hail the old ones! Yes. But yeah, this guy had me busting up, <laughs> cracking up. And this guy, speaking yeah, of guy, wild, yeah, he did this, a this great character. performance. That's uh, uh, yeah, Ellie. <laughs> Yeah, he did a real good job. Yeah, shout out to him, man. He's, yeah, he's, he he's went all in too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I don't yeah. blame. Uh, was it Ben? You said. Yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah. blame Ben's character from running out. Running He's out. like, screw this, man. Yeah, <laughs> this is getting this is getting crazy even for me now. At this point. Yeah, this his this actor's performance gave me the creeps. He did a good job. Yeah, yeah, he did a real good job. Yeah, he's supposed like to be a, attached to the to the resonator, attached right. to the machine that yeah. you know can kind of can you know transport you through space and time and yeah. All I mean, how did he stuff. move his mouth the way he did too? It's like how did he, you do that? Yeah, he he did he did a good job. You can't really tell, but he's got this machine on his his arm is split open here on the side, and he's it's like part machine, ah. part arm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's how he's kind of attached to the machine. He's got all these wires coming out of his hand, and right. Uh, yeah, and wow, that's crazy. Wires, yeah, wires out of his head. Yeah. Now this one here. Yeah, that's I mean, uh, the, you know, like I, I that's Neorato Tep, kind of like because he's got he's kind of like he's he's like all kinds of souls, you know, all yeah. kinds of all to wrap together. I gave him 
couple of different personalities all in one. And yeah, look I at that. Be, wanted him to be crazy. Like phenomenal. Just, look at that you. stuff. So good. So appreciate, good. I appreciate that. And this much. one right here. There's that. That's the that's Dagon. The, that's the, the side shot, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I love it. Yeah. Love it. I Thank missed you. that earlier. <laughs> Still trying to show it off. But yeah, that is phenomenal stuff. Thank you. In fact, the, 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 in fact, the head is. We didn't get. They, they don't get a, a full shot of the head in the film. Oh, the, uh, the top part. Yeah, because yeah. he's got a squid. He, he's oh, got. A, he's got a squid head at the top. And that's um, crazy. Yeah, and that's. I, I made it so that way it would be like you know. Once again, back to the aquatic. They've already done fish. They've already done octopuses. So yeah. I did, yeah, yeah. I did turtle and I did a squid head and and also having it be like a squid head on top made him kind of look like a high priest. Gotcha. Like we're wearing, like you know, you know, how like yeah, Catholic priests, yeah. Catholic priests have those that that big that big hat, you know, that comes off the yeah. top. Of head. Yeah, So, so having the squid head up on top, I have him. He's actually sitting right right here next to me. I have him right here next to me. It's just a giant squid. Squid. Did head. you want to show it? I don't. I don't. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah. There we go. We're gonna get. We're gonna get an exclusive right here on the channel. What's going on, everybody watching? Thanks again for hanging out. Oh, look at that! It's beautiful. Look at that. Let me see if I can get. Yeah, let me blow it up so everybody can see it. Look at that. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. It's got a. It's got a. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. 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 That's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Look at that. Exclusives on Samurai Guys channel. <laughs> yeah. No, that, they, they, they didn't get the. They didn't get the full. The full. Um. The right, pool. right, right. You got a uh, Joseph here. Shout out to Jesus. He's right on time. There you go, Joseph. Thanks for popping in. Brandon's throwing it up. Uh, he's saying so good. Thank you. After uh, showing that off. Yeah, man. Awesome Thank stuff you. for sure. Thanks again yeah. for showing that. Yeah, I like to really get into the 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 effects stuff. I mean, people, even though you may see some of my work for like you know two, a second or two seconds on film. Uh, I, I really feel like some of these directors that really know what they're doing, they, they can hold on to my stuff and they can really yeah. get into what, what it is we're, we're really all about here. I mean, like, look at like old Godzilla films. I mean, they didn't cut away, you know, they just, just um, all the monster all the time. Come on. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Speaking of, speaking of Godzilla, are you still a part of that Kaiju project or no? Or that's on the hush or. Oh, no. Uh, the, still I mean, going? I, well, yeah. I mean, he's, okay. he's, he's, he's uh, that's a Jeff Leroy project, and he is, I, I, to my knowledge, has been shooting it little, you know, little bit, little by little, little, okay. little by little. And he, you know, he has to build all these sets himself. So, you know, and then he destroys them. And uh, right. I was, uh, um, you know, I, I'm hoping that he will, he will invite me to come along a little bit more with what he's doing. But okay, I know he, he, it's his baby, so he likes to, yeah. you know. I, I, you know, he likes to do a little bit here, a little bit there. It's going to be, right. you know, yeah. a labor of love. I mean, when you're building a mini yeah. set to destroy, you know. Oh yeah. And yeah. I, I think, I think he does it like, uh, uh, like on top of someone's apartment complex, you know. Nice. Or the building, so you know, so you can, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I already saw your uh, when you posted on Instagram the uh, turtle nader. Yeah, man, that was great. Nader. Yeah, turtle nader. Yeah. Turtle nader. Yeah, but keep me in the loop with that, Joe. Uh, I will. I will. Because we got the kaiju audience that watches the channel once in a while too here. So, nice. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna love that. Absolutely. Yeah. You're gonna love that. But yeah. yeah, this whole sequence in the in the bathroom was great. The uh the 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 show, show, that Paul uh Blunkin yeah. turns into the Shogoth. Yeah, that yeah. was so good. Thank so you. Good. I appreciate that. Yeah, we. I this was scene, too, this oh, scene too, uh, where he's showing him the horrors that he's because he's doing a lot of complaining. You know, he's doing a lot of like, what's going on? Right, right, right. He's like, look, man, let me show you what I a, like. A, just a small taste of what I've the horrors that I've seen. The horrors I've seen. And man, I, I love this little flashback sequence here when uh, when he shows them, and it's just so good. Yeah, he can see. Yeah, he freaks out. Like he's like, oh my god. But yeah, that little montage that was put together showed some more of your creatures and stuff. That was great. Chad's very good at that. Chad, you know, writes these films. He directs them. He casts them. I work very closely with him when it comes to the special effects, and he really allows me to be super creative. You know, he kind of gives me an idea of what he wants, and then he just lets me run with it. And I'll we'll come back to him with a couple of ideas, and he'll say, right. "Yes, let's do that." You know, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> he's, like, he's like, "I got something to offer, something to trade." He's like, "What is that? Leftovers?" It's so funny. <laughs> Sense of humor. Humor is important when it's when it's like put in right at the perfect. It's done well. Yeah, yeah. It's just and he's like, no, man. I got. The, 
This is the heart of one of the old ones, all right? He's like, oh, all right. Yeah, good stuff. It, it, there's a sequence where we take a rib, a, a bone of someone's rib, and yeah. we stick it in this guy's neck. And yeah. Yeah. And that looks great. We twist it like that, twist it in the guy's neck. And yeah. uh, and I, I use my, I have a couple of techniques that I do that with where I like to use the real actor right. and make it, uh, you just have to see it. You kind of have to see it. It's a little magic trick. Okay. Uh, but, you know, I use it, but it's all practical, but it's composite. I can like to composite yeah. it digitally, but yeah. Yeah. The it looked like legit. That. Yeah. Did you see that? The, and then also he gets his head cracked open and it's like a piece of his brain comes out. Yeah. And that's also done shot practically but composited digitally and yeah uh, it works super super well yeah yeah all of the effects were great and phenomenal thank in you. the movie thank you uh yeah man hey ho what what the old ones scratches the cosmic horror itch that's yeah. right everybody watching if you guys support independent uh cinema excuse me uh check it out it is on amazon prime right now don't forget to check out terror tunes 4 on tubi I'm still uh, trying to get I'm still trying to get you to come down here to put you in a movie. I <laughs> Terra Tunes five. I don't know. Sam yeah. Mary goes. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna come down there, Joe. Yeah, we gotta good. we gotta I gotta come down there and visit and we gotta have some coffee or lunch. Yeah, absolutely. I would, love, I would love to be part of uh, your filmmaking journey, man. Anyway, I can be there to help, be an extra, get a get a death scene, whatever you need me, bro. One hundred percent. We're gonna yeah. make it happen. Yes, we'll, sir. We'll, we'll, we'll we will conversate. Yes. Offline. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Keep supporting horror movies, baby. Keep supporting independent cinema. Support this legend over here. That's right. Because what? This handsome guy. This guy's <laughs> been around a long time. Wow. He's that's been, a, a old picture. Guy. That old picture. Wow. That's guy. great. He's jacked. He's jacked. Look at that guy. Yeah. I don't even recognize that guy. <laughs> you know, I, I I appreciate you so much, brother. Thank you so much for having me on the show today. And uh, anything you need, you just reach out and say hello, and I will make it happen. All right. And, million uh, yeah. dollars. There I'm you go. Next there you go. Million yeah. dollars. Yeah. Make it happen. <laughs> hey, make man. It happen. It's always an honor to have you here. Everybody watching, uh, hey, thanks again for hanging out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the old Samurai Guy. Uh, click on the link below so you can follow Joe on Instagram and Facebook on his filmmaking journey. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, guys. Joe, don't go anywhere. But you guys, peace out. Take care. Thanks for watching, everyone.